Hello friends, in this video I'd, I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 11th graders 2024. Problem number 1. Let A be a 2x2 two two matrix with complex entries such that A to the power 2023 equals A to the power 2022. We wish to prove that A cubed equals A squared. It's not a particularly difficult problem, here are my hints. First, find the determinant of A, uh, and you should consider two cases. In one case, when the determinant is not zero, well, then our matrix is invertible, so the problem is done, almost. But when the determinant is zero, then consider Jordan form of the matrix. So write that A equals P, G, P, P inverse, where J is either the diagonal, a diagonal matrix with lambda and zero on the diagonal, or it's upper triangular matrix with 0, 1, 0, 0, where lambda is some complex number. So give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. All right, so let's take our assumption that a to the power 2023 equals a to the power 2022, and let's take the determinant on both sides. One of the properties of the determinant is the determinant of a product is the product of determinants. So we can write the determinant of A to the power 2023 equals the determinant of A to the power 2022. All right. And now notice that either the determinant is zero or if it's not, it must be one. So either the determinant of A is 1, or we can de or the determinant of A is 0. And let's consider these two cases separately. First case, when the determinant of A equals 1. Notice that then our matrix is of course invertible. It's invertible. So we can take our equation, our assumption once again, and we can multiply on both sides by a to the power minus 2022. And now we get what exactly? We get that, well, the identity matrix equals, sorry, a equals the identity matrix. And since this is the case, well, of course, then a cubed and a squared are equal because they are also the, the identity matrices. All right, so this is rather simple. Second case, when the determinant of a equals zero. Well, notice that then we can write a equals p g p inverse where where j well no no we know that it's either this matrix or this matrix all right let's consider these two cases separately uh, why you may ask why is that well we know that since the determinant of a is uh, zero, one of the eigenvalues of our matrix is zero. And the other eigenvalue, well, it can be lambda, and we have a diagonal matrix in this case, or the second, uh, the second eigenvalue can also be zero. And then, uh, then we either have matrix zero, 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 or matrix of this type. Now let's consider these two cases separately. So case 2.1, when j equals lambda 0, 0, 0. Notice that then, then, let's take our assumption once again. And notice that this can be written as p j to the power 2023 k inverse, and this equals p j to the power 2022 p inverse. Well, this means that the j to the power 2023 equals j to the power 2022. 
but what does it mean? It's pretty easy to see that if we take our matrix lambda 0, 0, 0 to the to these powers, we'll, we'll, we will just get this. And now by comparing these two matrices, we have two cases. Either, either lambda equals 0, this is for certain a solution, or if lambda is not 0, we can divide these entries by lambda to the power 2022 and we get lambda equals 1. Let's consider these two cases separately. Well, in this case, if lambda is 0, well, A is just the 0 matrix, or rather, J is the 0 matrix. But of course, this means that A is the 0 matrix. And this, of course, implies that a cubed equals a squared. No problems there. What about the second matrix? Well, in this case, j equals 1, 0, 0, 0. And now, let's take a look. In this case, j cubed equals j squared equals 1, 0, 0, 0, of course. And now we can multiply by p, j to the third power, p inverse, p, j squared, p inverse, and this of course means that a cubed equals a squared. So no problems there. So first case, we have dealt with the first case, and now let's consider second case, 2.2, is when Second case is when j equals 0, 0, 0, 1 in this place. Notice that then, <laughs> pretty easy to see that then, uh, I leave the details to you, but in this case, j squared is already 0 matrix. And of course, since j squared is 0 matrix, j cubed is also 0 matrix. And this of course means we can multiply once again by p inverse and p, and this of course means that a cubed equals a squared. And now we have to consider every possible case, and in every case, a cubed equals a squared, so we are done. And that is it. So, yes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.